roaches. I said, don't bring me not a damn thing. Well, girl, they showed that shit on um, the uh, Housewives of Atlanta that um, uh, Kim's daughter went to the bathroom and Nene's bathroom and she. <laughs> <laughs> and she. <laughs> and she had water bugs and shit. Big old black water bugs. Oh, girl, she, went, she went to the bathroom, girl. And there was cockroaches. But I'm like, if it's downstairs in the basement area, and if it wasn't completely done, I could say, well, I don't, I don't know. Girl, but I bitch, understand. I know what you're saying. But if, but girl, I wouldn't use, I, girl, uh-uh, I would have held my shit, bitch, uh-uh. That's why I do not like going in people's bathrooms and, and restaurants and shit. Ooh, I just try not to go, but like, ooh. Cause I don't like seeing nothing nasty and all that. Nah. Now what I'm about to eat. That bathroom nasty in the restaurant, bitch, I ain't eating shit. Mm-mm. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I do not eat in restaurants with the bathrooms look nasty. I sure do not. I am not. I just see the things that Nene Tacos. I said, ooh, stop. Go on up in there, hood rat, and see who you can buy. You probably, you can find you a little smoker up in there for about $5. He'll lick, on, he'll lick on your nipple. I don't know. That's what I tell you. I did that one time with this chocolate, bitch. And he laid it down too, so bitch, I never do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bitch, the whole time, the motherfucker was fucking on my nipple. She said, ooh. Please let me get a little that's okay. He got me up there like that now, girl. Girl. Even Trey was like, hey, she shut the fuck up. <laughs> and you just, and he just sang it like a nipple. Nasty bitches. Trey said, she shut the fuck up, bitch. I thought. <laughs> hey, Jen. Girl, wait, is Nana meeting you at the parade? Girl, she said, I told her to come on and go, and she said, girl, I ain't going to go, girl. Oh. Go. Oh, there's a park right there, bitch, I'm taking it. So me and Nana are on the same page. We don't want to be bothered. This bitch going to fight for this park, honey. Oh, girl, yes, man. Yes, so that's you know that should be better for you because you don't have no none of us around you to watch you, you know be begging people to come with you around the corner and you're gonna get them twenty dollars and all this type of shit. I ain't gotta beat up while they going upside your damn bun and all that stuff. Are you welcome, love? Hey, Jess. Oh, you got your cane? Don't got a little, you know, a little apple such a cane, bitch. You know what I mean? Oh, bitch. That means you know that's that means you're gonna have to pay more. my time up there. Oh, girl. Come on up here so we can get to the parade and get our kiki, girl. No, I want a kiki, girl. I want to be in the midst of all that. I'm trying to stay away from big, wide, you know, crowded areas and spaces and stuff like that. Well, girl, trade. Wait a minute. I'm trying to get the tea on trade, girl. See, so that part. I don't want to be in the middle of all that. I don't need people getting my tea. Been around oh, y'all. See, you want to look at dick swinging. Oh, and you no. You know, there's a little body he got here. Yeah, yeah girl. Go, how much 
How much money do you got in your wallet? In your purse? Because you're going to be broke, bitch, before the parade even starts. <laughs> bitch, buy <my> whore. <laughs> Remember, swallow before you talk to people. Don't be spitting in their face while you're talking. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. <laughs> Is my sister Dinesia on here? Hey, Jeff. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? Okay, y'all, I was on here, I think a little too long, and I really have been having a wonderful time <clears throat> chit-chatting and getting my gist with everybody and talking, making everybody laugh and feel good, but I think I'm going to end this. I'm good, uh, Kayla? Kayla, Aaliyah, I'm good, baby. How are you doing? I'm feeling real. I'm back on, you know, my Jose Cuevo, <clears throat> my 1800, you know. I just have like a little bit of mucus right there, but that's going to be gone. I'm going to fuck that up. Why does the blood? I ain't even puffing this on this bitch. Damn, it feels good to be off on Monday. I don't have anything to do. Nothing to do today. Nothing to do tomorrow. And everything I need to work on, I could do that stuff tonight because I'm not doing shit tonight. But keeping my black ass in the house. So I could work on my new costumes and stuff. Finish those up. And probably try to work on this fucking dress I've been wanting done. So I can get out, go out here and try to, you know, you must have been having something to me, mama, my baby. I never let you go when I'm with you. I could count up one up to nine and nine and, and still be late. Me and my friends are being passive aggressive about some drama to that person. We just try to ignore it. And me, boy, because things aren't fully worked out. <coughs> you might as well address it because then you can't move on. Because it's both, both of y'all gonna pretty much have it still there. So just get it over with. Shit, talk about it. Because it's going to always be there. Just talk about it. Hear each other out. If you need to say you're sorry, say you're sorry. Move on and let it be dead. But you can't move on for something that is going to just be there. You got you to uh, close that up. So you got to put your big, your big draws on and go for it. And it's not about arguing. It's not about who's right, who's wrong. It is about listening to each other and both of you understanding where the problem could have came on both sides or why it could have got that way. Because the way you taking it and the way they could be taking it they could, y'all could both see it as something different. But you got to hear each other out. 
and then say, okay, well, we fucked that. Let's move on. Hug about it, cry about it, <clears throat> eat about it, do something, but get over it. But I'm sure it ain't worth your friendship, you know what I mean? Do I date much? Nah. I really don't have the time. Or I haven't been making the time today. I would say that. Because if I wanted to, I could do more, prob you know, more dating. But, nah. Mm -mm. Nah. Excuse me. I did the whole dating thing and you know it was just no nah, it, it just wasn't my type of deal. But I did enjoy the food though, you know. I did do that. And the conversations was good, but they just wasn't they wasn't like we can move on from this date. You know, any further than a date, you know what I mean? We can't go to no next level. We right here. What do you do when trade cancels after you dish for an hour? <laughs> <laughs> You probably should uh, ask Kennedy about that. Cause she, she's real good about dishing and going to sleep and dishing and trade counseling and all of that. They just cancel. So you either find somebody else to get up in there because you're clean and horny or you just be clean. You just dish the fuck out. Go to bed. There's other things you could do. I mean, it ain't your man, so clearly you single. And I'm sure that's not the only person out there. It's a lot of dick swinging and ready to get up in there. You clean, bitch. Gonna get somebody to fuck your butt. If not, just go to bed cleaned out. That's all the thing I can tell you to do. Don't let a good, clean asshole go to waste if you don't want it to. Right? Nah, I don't get it to my siblings at all. I, we don't ever argue. Mm -mm. We don't argue. <clears throat> I can't even tell you that last... I think the last time I got into it with my older brother on my mom's side, I think I was what? Six, like 17, 16, 17 or something. And I'm 41. Me and my cousins. I haven't argued with nobody in my family since I was. Like in my teenage years. We just don't argue. Like, we don't argue. We, I don't know. We don't. I, I don't get into it with my people. Because they, they know up front, I don't give a fuck. They know it is what it is with me. But we just never. I don't know. We. I don't argue with nobody in my family. I know I don't argue with nobody in my family. I be, I'm just cool with everybody. They be happy when I come around. If they know I'm coming like down for something, the family holiday, the ones who don't really come over a lot, they all come over because they know I'm going I'm, I'm going to be there. And we're going to have a lot of fun. Or like... <clears throat> 
I would be like, okay, let's get all the family together. We're going to have a family barbecue. I'll buy all the meat, and y'all just do all the sides. And I do that, like, maybe three times out of the year, sometimes maybe four. It just depends on the weather and stuff like that and what's going on. You know, because I'll be missing my family, and I just want everybody together. So we be like, all right, let's, we're going to plan a day at the, at the park. I got all the meat. Y'all do all the sides, and da 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 We just all get together, and we sit there and have a big old family fun. Yeah, we don't be, baby, we don't be getting into all that drama and shit. All that arguing back and forth and all that. We don't do that. Mm-mm. If anybody go off, it's, it's the older people. It's my mom. It's my aunties. They will be the ones going off like on us, the kids. But the kids, we don't be arguing, no ma'am. We don't do all that extra bullshit. It's beautiful. I love my family. They're so nice and so sweet. And I tell them all the time, I just love y'all. And like I really tell them like you know y'all just don't really understand like it's just so many people out there who don't have their family and I be like really explain it to them like they don't understand when I be meaning it because they do though I know they do but it just come from a whole nother situation with me because since I was what 15, almost, well, 16, I'm going to say, everybody I had met at that age was homeless because they was put out for being gay. And, you know, they was on drugs, they was prostituting, they was, you know, everything, living seven and eight in one hotel room, and it was just like, oh, my gosh. And to know that my family didn't put me out and now they had the golden, I'm just like, oh my gosh. And it was like nothing, nobody, you know, they never shamed me. They never treated me no different. It was just like, wow, like, oh my God. So, you know, I just really try to tell them, <clears throat> like, y'all just don't understand because it could have went any type of way. And I'm glad it didn't go that way because... Shit. But if it had went that way, then fuck y'all. You know? You know what I mean? It's just like, damn. So it's just like, wow. And when I said not one person in my family give a fuck, I mean, not one person. And I have a whole lot. And we close to fuck. They don't give a fuck. Their homeboy, their friends don't give a fuck. They're like, baby, that's my cousin right there. They do not be tripping on that shit. Their friends don't trip. Because they know I'm, you know, I'm be around there trying to hit on their friends and all that bullshit. They, to me, y'all family, you ask me. You know what I mean? Shit. But I don't know. Do I have a best friend, Jish? I do. I have a best friend, Cashmere, and a best friend, John. John lived like an hour or so down the way from me. And Kashmir is in Ohio, Iowa. She's in Iowa. Yep. Them are my two best friends. Then my other two are up in heaven. Good in Asia. Yeah. And hell, I don't even tell my best friends 
some of my deepest, darkest whole moments. You know what I mean? Because everything you can't tell everybody. Because you're my best friend, I don't have to tell you my whole life. You don't need to know everything. You need to know my favorite color, my favorite food, what I won't have, what I will have. You need to know all that type of stuff. You don't need to know, you know, I listen to any time, any place when I'm getting my groove on, you know, certain things you just don't need to know. So, you know, I don't tell them everything. They don't tell me everything. And I don't want to know everything. I just want to know the important things. Bitch. <laughs> you know, maybe, what's your blood type? All right. Who to call in case of an emergency? Yeah, nah, that bitch ain't gonna do that. Oh, I know this bitch, you know, not all that personal business, yeah. What if we start being friends? Then that bitch write a book on my life. Still could write a book on some fake shit. But the real shit is just drinking your damn <laughs> your pain away at that point. Do you know about She's been my best friend for four years. Who be your best friend? Okay, Daddy Alabama. Mama Louisiana. You mix that what? You mix that what? You get this jish. Jish got to pee. You need that as a ringtone? Okay. I'm coming up with a new one, though. <clears throat> because I was trying not to do that mix no more for the year, but I didn't have time to make a new Beyonce mix, you know, for like brunch and stuff. I really do that for brunch to keep the crowd going. But I'm trying to find me another, I, I want to put it together, another mix. You know, and I think I'm going to throw in a little extra little stuff. So I could try to wake the crowd up, you know, get everybody going, you know, to keep brunch and stuff going, you know, popping and all that. Go pee. You will. <laughs> oh, this thing's going to cut off in a minute. And when I go up in here, baby, it's going to be a wrap a thon. I'm going to shave this shit off. Get in thine shower. And I'm about to go take my ass to the post office, drop off some of these fucking just shirts. Go pick up another order of just shirts. Go swing by Olive Garden, sit thine ass down this time. And order some food. Go buy me some tennis shoes. Pay thine car notes. Because all of that is in that same foyer. Bring my black ass back home and start working on some fucking drag. So I can have some brand new shit and crazy outrageous shit and sparkly shit and feathery shit. And then, um, yeah. And then maybe my sister would come, well, maybe my sister would come back, um, my homegirl, and uh, we could go live together, and I could let her ask me some questions, because I like the way she asks questions. She really asks me shit. I want people to ask me, or I want people, or I want to talk about. And I thought we had a really good time. Think I'm safe. My girl in Chicago. You know, she was really asking some real fucking questions. I want to know some, let's talk some real shit. You know, oh, fuck all the drag race stuff, honey. We don't been through that. No, let's talk about some real life shit. Bitch, how long you been home? You know what I mean? Just bust out some questions on a hoe. Are you home?
Are you home? You know, are you, are you a thought? Are you one of the girls sleeping around with the merry men and telling dumb ass? Not getting nothing out of it? They're just wearing your ass out, one by one. Nothing to show up for it, with a wore out pussy. Then everybody on your social media letting your ass have it, and you talking about they threatening you. Of course, you home wrecker. But people don't see that. <clears throat> they just want to be in the limelight. Dummies. Girl, shut up. Now, I'll say this. I don't want to sleep with nobody married or with nobody peace and all that. I don't want to do that. But if I ever ran across someone famous, the coin thought tied. Nobody would know nothing but me and that person. Unless they went and ran their mouth, not a soul would know shit. I don't give a fuck if I end up walking into the motherfucking room and seeing this bitch with my worst enemy. I wouldn't give a fuck. I would never say a word. To no one that I have been with someone like that. No, ma'am. If it was that one time, damn it, it was that one fucking time. If it's going on, going on, going on, bitch, it's going on, going on, going on. It's nobody fucking business. I just don't understand it. I don't. I don't be just sitting there telling my friends, oh, you know, I had that piece. I had, I know, ma'am. You didn't know who I was having unless you knew we was in a relationship. That's it. I never been the one to discuss with my friends on people that I slept with. Oh, bitch, I was in Houston and still, yeah, man, you know, we knocked the booze and da 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 but not just sitting there like, oh, him, yep, I had that person. No, ma'am. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Now, if you want to tell me that, you sure can. But I'm not going to be sitting there discussing that with you and nobody. That's my business. You know what I mean? And no Tina Shay, I really prefer for you not to tell me who you been sleeping with. Because it's going to wreck my nerves if you bust out and say you been sleeping with somebody and I find I been sleeping with something. I just don't even tell me. But people discuss them things and I've never been the one. I would never forget. I was like young. 17, <clears throat> 16, just really just coming out and stuff. And we was going to a house party. And I will never forget that I was at this man bar in his uh, little house. I mean, in his... Whatever he had, like a garage, he turned it to like a bar and a dance floor and all that where we to go after clubs. <clears throat> we had walked in and I went to the bar to get something to drink and I remember the guy sitting at the table it's about four of them. They all were sitting there talking about how they had fucked these two boys. They was real close. Fuck these two boys. Just fuck them. Not together, but, you know, said like they each one of them has had sex with the two boys. And they sitting there just talking about how they fucked them and the things they did. And from that 
moment right then. I said that would never be me. And I swear that had taught me the biggest lesson right there that motherfuckers taught. And I swear to you. I said that would not be me. No ma'am. No ma'am. I mean, they talked about the same places. They talked about some of the same moves that the boys did. They had just discussed all this shit within the five or eight, ten minutes. I had to sit at the bar and wait for something to drink. And I'm sitting there just listening like, oh, my gosh. And I looked at each and every last one of them in their faces. Ding, ding, ding. Hell no. And at some time, at some point in my life of being down there and going out, each one of them has tried to talk to thine. No, ma'am. Ah, 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 ah. Let's it learn. <laughs> so, woo. I couldn't believe that they had sat there and was just discussing how they were just. Fucking that boy on his ass. Both of them. With or without condoms. No, ma'am. Y'all would not be discussing that business all dying. I could, I still can't believe, I still can't believe, I still get shocked off, that still blows my mind to this day. And I was about 16, 17 years old. And I swear, that still blows my mind. It, it was sometimes it was a two for one, but all four of them guys had talked about fucking both of them two boys. Some in, some of them in the same locations. Some it was just I couldn't believe it. I just was so like, and by this time I'm still like you know new into everything, so I'm still learning stuff. But baby, I learned that real quick. They talking about how they fucked the dog shit out of y'all. Some of y'all, some of them shitted and stuff. No, ma'am. They were just disgusting. It was just... I couldn't believe it. It had just blew my mind. No, baby, no. Baby, that was, that was, whoa, ho, 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 ho. Oh, thank you, but I have, t I have shirts. This, is, we don't have no more tank tops right now. They probably won't come out until the middle of the year. But, um, yeah, so that was very, uh, ooh. That was, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people kiss and tell, but I can't do it. I, you know what I mean? That, that just ain't been my business. I have never been that type of person, ever. Mm -mm. You wouldn't know nothing about anybody I was with unless we was in a relationship. Oh, this is my video right here. Oh my gosh, I love this. I need to do a video about this. Oh, I really love you too. I'm about to cut my hair off my head though. This shit is getting on my nerves. 
Oh, this is my favorite. Oh, look, look. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> But that video has me all the time. And that's why I'm scared. I'm just scared to do a backflip. Because what if I just go, ooh, bam. I'm just... <laughs> ooh, baby, eat back out. I am asleep. Just please, just let me lay here. Poor thing. Oh. Wait a minute, I want to make sure y'all really get it. Because let me tell you how he went down. He went back. And when he went back, and when he landed, he landed on the tip of his toes right here. And when he landed on the tip of his toes right here, he slid forward. And before he could even put his hands down, he was just going. And his face. Forehead. Nose. Mouth. Teeth and tongue. Top and bottom. Chin. Lips. Was going full force. Back out. So all that at that force is in pain. So this is going like this. That's damn near knocked out. Because that was and that was hard floor. So when I said he sleep, he was damn he was out. And in pain. Bleeding. 
looseness in the gums. That was a lot of force going down from going backwards to go down on the tip of toes and slip. Boom. That's what happened. We're going to make sure. See what? And mind you, just looking at that again, when he went down, he went down like this. Like this is his face. This is his ass. So he went down face first. That wasn't even a flat surface. That was face. So back out. He's done. I did kick real high and kick myself in the uh, fucking face. And I ain't never kicked like that again. That was one of them like hopping, jumping, and kicks. I said, back out, bitch. I went down. Oh, no, ma'am, never again. I'm a, I'm a very either don't want to do it to go down that road, or if it happened once, I ain't going to do it again. I'm cool. I try to learn my lesson. By not going through the shit I see or it shit happened to me once. No man, I can't be bothered. Mm -mm. I fucked my nose up. That shit hurt it for a long time. I thought I broke it. Cause that bitch had my m I was like, oh it just hurts. And it was bleeding a little bit too. I was like, oh my gosh. And I think that's why I keep saying my nose is kinda crooked right here. But I keep saying it's something here that I don't remember ever having until I have fucked up my nose. And I still feel that way. And that was the only time I ever got hit in my nose like that. Is when I said, back out. And I was kind of dizzy. My eyes got real watery and shit. I remember I was spinning on the floor. And I was trying to act like I was dancing because I didn't want nobody to know. And I had wiped my nose and I was bleeding and shit. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I done fucked my nose up. And I had to sneak off to the bathroom like it was nothing. And, you know, play it off and go in the damn stall and hold my shit back. It was just like, oh God, my nose. And I'm drunk as fuck, so blood just coming because the alcohol was like, oh, Lord. What did I do to my damn self? Oh, thank you, Jay. I love you, too. But I didn't know much a long time ago, but I never going to ask. Did you enjoy your second? I did. Oh, oh, oh. I did enjoy myself um, in the U.K., I had a real good time, uh, you know, doing the tour and stuff out there. I really did. I did. Will I do another one? Hey, Jeff. This is a woman's tank top, so, you know, it really don't fit like it's supposed to because it's it's a whole nother type of scene and cut and everything. So if it look kind of weird and it looks like it's long and all my shit look like it's just long, I'm not long or weird body shaped or nothing. Nothing is wrong with people who just, you know, shape different. But I'm not shaped like that just because this is a woman tank top. And it's like a medium. And a small one would have gave me, you know, just like little boy, little gay top, you know. I know I can't wait to see my new show on YouTube as well. But I'm going to actually, I got to, uh, the place is open today. 
So I'm going to go look at this banner that this guy has put together for me. Because uh, he is there. And hopefully I like it. I could get it and I could probably start my my life. Uh, like I have something to say. You know, back on YouTube or back on Facebook. And, you know, get that together. Because I want to do more social media talking and stuff like that. So everybody could get their fucking jish. So Mona Scott, VH1, somebody could say, who is this person? Let's get them on TV. Let's get them some checks. Money moves, red bottles, fences, talk to you, all that. Can I get a goddamn... Hell, can I just go around the world just with a microphone and just talking shit in the goddamn auditorium? I'm good with that. I think somebody would come listen to me talk about something. I mean, shit. I think I got the will to do it. I'm just saying, can a bitch just do something to make some goddamn money and then enjoy life and have fun and put smiles on people's faces and God damn. I mean, fuck. Can I spread the I don't give a fuck about that bullshit around the world? Just enjoy life. All right, whore. I'm here to get my dress. All right, for your final exam for the semester. Oh, yes, baby. Please study. I hope you do really good on your exam. It's very important that you do. If your friend's going to a party, let them go on the party. Like, now I got, I got to handle this business. Because it's always going to be some parties. You ain't missing nothing. Somebody's going to be live at the party anyway. Just watch it there. What is she doing? Okay, was I preaching? I'm telling the truth, though, ain't I? You know, <clears throat> I just think it's the, you know, I just think, you know, people really should know that part, too. It's okay, you're going to miss a lot of nights at the club and a lot of events. And they ain't going to kill you. You just missed it. Sometimes it's for the best to miss shit. So keep your ass in them goddamn books. Let me reroute you. Okay, well, you know what? I need to get off here because I need to handle this phone call. And um, it was nice spending my time with y'all. Y'all know y'all my people. And I love y'all. But <clears throat> until we meet again, get your fucking jish. And once I start pulling out these new t-shirts, I hope you all buy one so y'all can have your fucking jish. Until then, love y'all. Morning, Jish. Oh, it's afternoon.